The President and Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, His Excellency the Chief Convener and Governor of Kazana State, Right Honorable Amini Bella Masari, CFR, FINM, the Latin Kazana, Your Excellencies the Governor of Zamfara, KB, Sokoto, Kano, and Maradi. Your Excellencies, permit me, because of the long and big list of the invited guests, to duly establish and respect all the existing protocol. Against the surreal glow cast by Mr. President's tour in presence and the awesome presence of our nation's finest here, it is a great honor for me and members of the summit committee to offer these opening remarks. This is truly a momentous occasion, the saying that big ox from little acorns grow is true of this summit and is, is especially true of today. Indeed, the idea of this summit has humble beginnings. It emerged from the first-hand field experiences gathered during the electioneering campaigns undertaken by His Excellency the Governor, Right Honorable Amin Bell Masari, based on the stark realities of the people's condition seen, heard, and felt, I read alongside what the old bank termed the Nigerian paradox, poverty in the midst of plenty. His Excellency felt committed to deliver on the dividend of democracy to the people of Kazan State, who so generously voted him and his party into power. One of the most eloquent testimonies of the paradox of poverty in the midst of plenty is played out every day and everywhere. His Excellency went during the campaigns, for instance, a piece of land may be in the position of a family for a generation and yet it remains a dead capital because the family could not secure a bank loan on it as it has no bankable title documents. In Kazan State, apart from the immense agricultural resources the state is endowed with, there are unimaginable minerals deposits. Taken together and linked with her people resources, Kazan State has no business with poverty and unemployment. It is this inherent contradiction that this summit intends to effectively address to assemble complementary resources into a composite interplay to resolve the paradox of poverty in the midst of bounteous wells into a broad prosperity for all. To this will require to do this will require vision backed by political commitment and the optimization of delivery vehicles in creating extraordinary partnership. Assembling of transforming resources and knowledge platform. It will also require a win-win arrangement. It is to achieve these goals that His Excellency set up the Economic and Investment Summit Committee. Keeping with the terms of reference, the committee studied all the previous efforts made in the same direction and blended these into composite strategy to help chart the pathway into the future. This summit is one outcome of the committee's outlook. Other outcomes of the committee's works include the review of the state incentive policy package, updating the investor's handbook, 
which is here and we have made it available to every investor that is in Kazana. We have equally undertaken need assessment of 140 local entrepreneurs within the state and we have provided all what they need and they are here to partner, network with other investors that have come all over the world. And we have these and we have circulated these to all the summit participants. In addition, the committee also undertook broad consultation with local and foreign investors, some of whom are happily represented here. The details of these will unfold in the course of the summit. The relaying call for the summit converges around the theme unlocking investment potentials for sustainable development. The theme underscores the understanding that all the elements required for the sustainable development of Kazan states are available in this gathering. People, technology, and finance. The key is to bring them into a virtuous interplay that benefits everyone. At that is the overarching objective of the summit, to couple the aspirations and resources of the state to the broad resources platforms of the investing community from across the nation and the globe. The key summit objectives are to engage all the states and utilized and underutilized natural and human resources towards creating an efficient and prosperous state, create awareness of the state new investment climate and policy thrust, create a robust platform for dialogue with potential investors. Revitalize the private sector for higher returns and employment generation and enhance the visibility of the state as a viable investment hub, among others. The various trends of, the, of this summit are knit around government to business, business to business, and business to consumer. Immediately after the opening ceremonies, the technical session will commence and end tomorrow with a busy schedule of His Excellency, the Governor, Amin Ben Masari, who shall rub minds with the business community assembled to this end. The summit, which brought under this roof our friends and partners from across the globe, may well, pro may well prove to be Kazan State's finest hour. We are confident that what is done today and tomorrow in this summit will echo in future generations. His Excellency, the Governor of Kazan State, Amin Ibn Masari, the Latin Kazana, in his eloquent and greater detail, will tell you what the summit is all about. I cannot conclude these remarks without acknowledging with gratitude the hard work and commitment of members of this committee who work tirelessly day and night to ensure that this day comes to reality. On behalf of the summit committee, I thank His Excellency, the Governor of Kazana State, Amin Ibn Masari, the Latin Kazana, for his unflinching support and total commitment for the cause of the ordinary citizen. I also wish to thank the President Muhammad Buhari for his commitment to the economic development of Kazana State and Nigeria, as demonstrated by his personal presence at this ceremony in spite of his very tight schedule. I am, all, I am most grateful for all that are present here today for taking the time to explore the huge potentials of Kazan State. Thank you. Laji Jakamshi is an accomplished banker, former Director General of Kano State Chamber of Commerce and a successful businessman. Another round of applause for him, please.
Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to recognize in our midst the presence of Al Haji Aliko Dangote, GCON, President Angote Group, and Pastor Tunde Bakari, former Vice Presidential Candidate and General Overseer, Later Reigns Assembly. We welcome you to this event. Mr. President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, the working day and night of the last week I spoke about is predicated on the push they got from the executive governor himself, who has said time and time again that Kazakhstan State needs to get it right through industrialization by optimizing the application of its resources to better the lives of its citizens. This he has shown amply and demonstrated resolves and commitment. It is my pleasure, therefore, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, to invite the man to officially welcome you to this event. Should I now ask, ladies and gentlemen, that we put our hands together as I invite Right Honorable Aminu Bello Masari Sefar, the Latum Kazana, the Executive Governor of Kazana State, for his official welcome to us.